plan for this video is radar detector. But yeah, before I get into it, uh, I got it for 500 something, like a 500 and like nine, I think. I got it for 479 and with taxes, it was like 509. So, I mean, obviously it's a lot and I did have to shell out a, a brick for it, but like it's already paid for itself like five times. It's paid for itself five times easily over like two, two K minimum. That's what I'm putting the number at right now. Cause I don't want to like overestimate everything, but I'm, I'm going to go with two K minimum for how much money it saved me. So it's already, it's paid for itself and I could buy it three times over and I'd still be, still be in the positive, but it's definitely like a good investment and like especially if you live in any other state like i live in virginia and i'm running it so obviously like i gotta be a little bit more careful than if you're living in any of the other 49 states other than dc dc and virginia is the only place you can't run a radar detector um i don't know why maybe because it's just like close to like shit i guess i don't know i don't know exactly but like it makes sense i guess no it doesn't i'm lying but it doesn't make sense at all the only fucking reason i would get it like it's been on military bases like everywhere so i get that because like it might interfere with some shit but like being banned in the whole state just because like there's a couple important shit nearby is honestly does not make any sense to me but you know it is what it is like it doesn't really matter like this is technically rdd immune which is which means like the because cops in virginia and other places i they might have them there i don't know but i know in virginia at least like that's a cop right there like it didn't pick him up because he's not running radar so it's like it's not a cop detector like a lot of people who get it like they confuse it to be a cop detector like a lot of like the videos i see and stuff like they they put they put cop detector like in the title like straight up so it's like so it's like they put cop detector or like police scanner but it's not like that's not that's not what it does like it's not like you have a tracker on like every police car and it like picks up that tracker if there's a car if there's a police car driving by or like they're camped somewhere they have a speed trap and they're running radar there's two different types there's ka there's k there's two bands so either one of those more frequently than not ka and if you get a ka like nine out of ten times it's a real one there is one ka that i pick up on my way to work it's like it's a it picks up like it picks it up every time so unless there's like a cop there like every day which i doubt it's probably a false but it's like it's something crazy like it picks it up for a little bit and i could mute it if i want to like auto mute memory but i'd rather like i'd rather just keep it on just because it's not really that annoying like the ka chirp isn't that bad the k chirp is annoying and every k i picked up so far has been false and so i've had this for about like four weeks now and everyone i picked up has been false for k but for ka it saved me five times and every ka other than the one i've talked about on the way to work that it's it's really good though it's quiet like obviously like the first couple of days like when you're driving through like new areas it's gonna be loud as fuck because like it needs to like like get used to everything and there's another cop over there over there then i don't think he's running anything either but but yeah like like i like i mean you gotta like you still gotta be like smart with it like you can't just buy this and then expect to like just speed everywhere because that's not how it's gonna work like you still gotta be smart like even without this like you shouldn't be speeding like too heavily in school zones like 30 to 35 max unless it's like open which is my like in my defense like if it's open and there's nothing there then you can go like 40 maybe but like even even then like it's it's still risky obviously but but like yeah that, that's another cop he's not running radar he's just driving around like not all cops are doing traffic like obviously if you like blow past him or do some dumb shit like he's gonna pull you over but like he's not like running radar like he won't be able to get your speed and like another thing like that people don't realize like obviously like if you blow past him like you might get stopped but like it's 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 harder to prove those in court just because like it's his word against yours and they don't have an exact like measurement or whatever because if if you blow past a cop and this doesn't pick it up that means that they're not running radar so they don't have your exact speed so those usually they're like easier to get thrown out in court um i'm not speaking from personal experience 
I'm speaking just like from stuff I've read online and like videos I've seen but it makes sense to be honest because like it's just one one person's word over another like they might have the ash cam or something but like it's harder it's harder to prove those in court just because it's just like that's how it works um but yeah another thing I wanted to bring up was laser and lidar which is another form of guns that police use for speed and the thing with that this is it's so hard to pick up because radio or I mean radar it's like it's it's like radio waves that are being sent out at different frequencies so it's just literally it's just being spewed out like wherever and it's like a big like big area to pick up that's why radar detectors are so good is that a no way that's a that's a fucking lambo dude holy shit um i don't know if you guys picked that up but yeah so that's the difference between that to be honest and these are not really ideal for laser but the good thing about laser is that it's stationary what is that it's stationary like you can only like a cop can only use it if he's if he's standing still or not moving so you can't you can't be driving around with laser which is like one of the good things about it but a bad thing is like it's hard as fuck for this to pick it up that's a whole different story you need to get laser jammers for that but those are like expensive um and like only do it if you got the money for that shit because they they can come in clutch like sometimes but honestly like the go-to for me would be um the r7 or the R8 if you have the extra money. Like they're not, the R8 isn't like that much crazier. Like it's obviously better, but it's not like, it's not like anything that I'd be willing to spend 200 more for. Um, this gets the job done, it's been really good. Uh, no one, I haven't had a cop, I've had it for like a month-ish around, maybe a little more. Um, yeah, like around a month and two days or something. But I haven't been pulled over for, I haven't been pulled over at all, but um, I've passed by a, a lot of cops it honestly just depends on the cop to be honest and obviously like i have mine higher up and i'm in like a lower car so it's hard it's like i checked from the back like you can't really see it unless you're like looking from a downward angle so that's a good thing and you can always like it's so easy to take out like you press there's like a little quick disconnect you pull it and then you pull it back it's easy to hide it like really fast so that's a good thing and honestly like because i since i am in virginia you gotta you gotta be able to take it out like every time you park every time it just i mean you don't have to but it's like it's kind of something that i do because it is illegal here so it's like it's better than not than like coming back to a possible ticket like it's it's highly unlikely it just depends on where you park like if, it's your, if you're like near like something that's like high traffic you're like a lot of cops pass through there or if they're like looking for it maybe but like even even then it's kind of like it's kind of like iffy it it honestly just depends so um, yeah, I don't know what this kid's doing. Luckily, there was not anyone behind me. That would have been bad. I hate, I would not want to get rear-ended, bro. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the most of it. I'm going to turn around here because I don't want to get on the highway right now. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, like, that's the most things you need to know. Uh, there's a, not a cop, that's like some security dude. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But this, um, there's a lot of stuff you need to know, but like setting this up is like really easy. Like it took me like five minutes. I got the suction cup mounts on. The only problem, like it looks flat right now, but the thing is like, if I look from like outside my car, it's like angled downwards. So that might be affecting the performance a little bit. So I gotta, I might have to use the suction cup or not the suction cup, like the, the circle single one. Cause that one you can like adjust, I think. So I might be able to get that one um, to be, flatter and like at an at a flat angle so i have to figure that out because i don't know i like having um like suction cups and stuff because you can just take it out and i got a dash cam running over there usually i have it up here i just have it over there because i'm recording on my gopro right now but i mean yeah that's the most thing this thing is honestly definitely worth the money if you don't want to spend 500 which i get but honestly like it's it's worth it dude but you could probably find one like used or like online or on eBay maybe for like 400 something, like around there. Like you could get a decent price for it or if you really wanna get something and you're fine not getting the arrows, but the arrows like I highly recommend just cause like it, you'll be like, it'll be, oh, 
We got something. We got something. That's actually perfect. Can't lie. Thank God I turned around. That's actually clutch. That's actually clutch, dude. Where is he? See, like, without the arrows, like, you wouldn't know where he is. That's the problem. I think he might have turned. Yay. I think he turned. I don't think I saw him. He either turned or he's going... He either turned right going straight. Um, but yeah, this, I love... This is, a, this is the money... This is the money chirp right here. The money chirp. That's what I'm talking about. I, I honestly, I don't know where he is. If you guys see him, let me know. Oh, that's him. That's him right there. That is him right there. But yeah, that... That and... It didn't, it's not really, I wouldn't really call that a save though. Like the, the five saves I was talking about were like actual, not five, honestly. Yeah, I've had five saves. It's like the thing about radars is like how people des describe it. it. Cause like they think it's like a hypothetical. And obviously like right now, it still saved me. I'm gonna count it as a save. Probably not like a crazy save, but it, like it, it's good to know, you know? But yeah, that was good. That was, that was good. That might've been the same cop from earlier. I don't know exactly. It's still picking him up slightly. Okay, so now it's gone. So he's he's far back probably. Or he turned it off. We gotta check actually. Is that him? Dude, I got scared. I thought I saw. Okay, I'm gonna chill. I can't I can't do all this at once right now. Cause I got my GoPro, but Dude, I thought the cop turned off his radar and he's following me. That would have been crazy, but yeah, no, that is a good ass save. That actually might no, it's not the cop. I guess I got, bro, I got the GoPro on my head, so it's kind of hard to see. I don't think it is him. Yeah, it's not him. Bro, that scared the fuck out of me, though. Can't lie. Okay, we're going to do a little, a little pull. I know, like, dude, that thing, that is actually perfect timing with the video. That is a crazy, but that was a good save. Um, yeah, so that is, like, what it's really good for, like, a radar detector. It is good for moving cops. Moving, moving cops with radar on. Um, that's what I really would recommend it for just because like that is like that's what that's ideally what you'd want to use that for and then like ways is good just because a lot of people like there's a lot of community like engagement with it and and usually um where this doesn't shine ways usually shines ways is also save me twice like from the same time span as these two obviously i don't use ways as much but uh yeah ways is honestly really good with this that's honestly like that's honestly all you need like unless you're like rich and you have the money for laser jammers like if you want to go above and beyond go for it like i'm not i'm not like stopping you like this this and this will get the job done if you're if you're smart if you got good awareness like without like even like we we saw earlier those two cops right they didn't have radar on and obviously like if you blow past them on the other side um, it's highly unlikely that they're gonna stop or like turn around but obviously you got to be aware you can't just like rely on this to pick up cops that are, don't have radar on but yeah this thing like I can't I can't explain it any better you know like I literally got to save in the 10 I don't even know how long I'm recording but I got to save in the 10 minute time span that I've been recording that honestly that speaks for itself you know um, this thing is crazy even in Virginia I I'd recommend running it it's it's insane dude it's like because like even like you, if somehow you get caught with this um like it's like it's like a hundred dollar ticket maybe that's a maybe like it's like it's like it depends on the cop so it's like it could be a hundred dollars but it's like it's like a hundred dollars here for this or do you want to pay like a thousand dollar speeding ticket or like a five hundred dollar speeding ticket like that's what it comes down to at the end of the day um but yeah, this thing is definitely worth the money. Uh, I think I covered most of the points. There's a lot of different stuff. Um, there's a guy on YouTube, I forgot what's his name, Vortex Radar. If you want to get into like the specifics and stuff and the settings for this, I would I would recommend his channel. I'll probably put a link to it in this video. Um, but yeah, no, this thing, this thing is great. It's honestly insane. It saved me five times. It's paid for itself in a week, like to be honest. I got it July 11th. It saved me six times, including right now, which I got on video, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, no, this thing is definitely worth the money. Uh, I would buy this. If you have the extra money, go for the R8. It's nothing crazy, but it's like, just to get like the upgraded, um, just to get the extra, 
the extra little little upgrade i guess but no this thing is good it's if you really don't want to deal with like the k alerts like k is used k you need it for like speed cameras and stuff so if your area doesn't have speed cameras you honestly could just turn it off um but yeah i just keep it on you could you could also like mess with the sensitivity and settings a little bit uh worth i almost died at this intersection once dude my old car the rav4 dude i was going like 90 some dude comes out right there i see him under cars by the way he runs the red obviously i'm speeding okay but like he runs the red takes a right takes up both lanes back when this was two lanes it takes up both lanes goes like 10 miles an hour it's a pizza delivery driver and i'm like fucking going 90 but i see him like from back there under fucking cars it was crazy crazy as fuck and i didn't have a dash cam back then so i didn't get the clip but like that shit was insane um it was honestly fucking insane i almost fucking died probably i don't think i would have died but like dude it would have been bad it would have been and it definitely would have been it probably would have been my fault or maybe it would have been 50 50 probably but like even that's like bad dude like even though it was technically his fault like obviously i'm speeding but i had the green he ran the red so it's like i i think it's his fault to be honest but yeah no i mean this is this thing is great if you guys have any questions um you can drop them down below um yeah i'm gonna make up more videos with it and like just driving videos i also gotta do a i'm gonna do a vehicle on shoulder yeah that, that's where Waze comes in clutch um there's a vehicle on shoulder and it'll be like police reported so Waze is honestly like not even just for police it's just like good dude like I, I, I use Google Maps sometimes. Like, if I'm just, like, chilling and I need to get somewhere, uh, I'll run I'll run Google Maps, but it's, like, Waze is so good. It's honestly better. Yeah, but I think that's the car up there. Not this car. There's a car up there down the road with this hazards on, I think. But, yeah, I know. It's, it's insane. This thing is nice. Um, the GoPro's been great. Uh, the car's been great. I think I got about like 5,500 miles on it. Oh, I know the car is gone from the shoulder. But yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, um, drop them down below. I'll get to them all. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna add in some clips um, of like some other saves that I got on the dash cam. They're not, they're, not, they're not gonna be like ideal quality, but I'm gonna still toss them in there just to like show you guys like the range and stuff. And like the range from this thing earlier, dude, that was insane. I thought he was at the light because it picked him up so quick, but he was like down the road. So even if I was speeding, like it would have been more than enough time to slow down. And if it's not enough time to slow down, that's that's honestly on you, to be honest. But this thing is crazy range. And if you're going on like a highway with like really flat and like open road, this thing will pick him up like miles in advance. It's honestly insane. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, comment anything. And I will see you guys. Peace.